Story of Golden Locks, a painting of childhood, imagination, and transition. Seymour Joseph Guy was a talented and prolific American painter who was born in England and moved to the United States in 1854. He specialized in genre paintings of childhood, depicting scenes of domestic life and humor with remarkable realism and expression. His painting, Story of Golden Locks, completed around 1870 and currently on display at the Met Fifth Avenue in Gallery 763, is a stunning example of his skill and vision as an artist and a storyteller. The painting shows three children, Guy's own sons and daughter, reading a version of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, a popular fairy tale of the time. The children are seated on a bed, surrounded by colorful quilts and pillows. A candle and an oil lamp provide the only sources of light, creating a cozy and intimate atmosphere. The children are engrossed in the story, their faces and gestures reflecting their emotions and reactions. The young girl, who holds the book and narrates the story, casts a menacing bear-like shadow on the wall behind her, suggesting that they have reached the most thrilling and terrifying part of the tale. The painting is not only a realistic and charming portrayal of a common childhood activity, but also a subtle and clever commentary on the themes and messages of the fairy tale. The painting reflects the didactic purpose of the story, which warns children not to wander from home and not to meddle with other people's belongings. The painting also implies that the story is a metaphor for the transition from childhood to adulthood, a process that involves curiosity, exploration, risk, and consequence. The painting, then, is a painting of childhood, imagination, and transition, a painting that reveals the joys and challenges of growing up. It is a painting that invites the viewer to relive and appreciate the magic and wonder of childhood stories, but also to question and analyze the meanings and implications of the symbols and references that the artist used.